It's hot out. <laughs> Got nothing to explain. Hi, I'm Tony Fast Daughter. I'm Tony Fast Daughter. I'm Tony Fast Daughter. My family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior Jesus Christ. Well, got the camera all ready to move over. We're gonna move it to the east side of the farm now and set it up over there. So, 30 mile journey, here we go. Man, flax is such a pretty plant when it blooms. Pretty blue, kind of purplish blue, I guess. So pretty, but not so much fun to harvest or seed through. Made it to the other East Farms bin site. Well, I'm just gonna put the jump auger on and line it up on the bin and we're ready to dump trucks in it. Got the two trucks running, full of bees from last night from what we cut down here. Take them up and go dump them. Gonna bring the trucks back down here. Do some little piddly stuff down here. Just kinda recharge the AC on the service truck. Do a little bit of stuff on the combines. Probably not be cutting today because it's pretty humid and nothing seems to be drying out right now. Unfortunately, so. Oh well, let's climb the big hill. For truck two. Hot out. <laughs> Got nothing to explain. Yeah, I'm gonna go fix the AC. Yeah, you do that. In the service truck. I'm gonna just finish this up, and then I'm gonna go sit in the Dodge with the AC on while you finish. Oh, I the finish AC. the service truck. Yeah. So I'm working on the AC on the service truck. I noticed there was something here looked a little bit wet. Couldn't tell what it was. I hooked my gauge up here. The pressure that was still in the gauges fitting is either broke or it's loose. I will have to find that out. That fitting was loose, tightened it. I think it'll hold, but I'm not sure that's the proper way to fix an air conditioner problem. I'll put a little 134 in it and see if it at least works. Tony and the family went to Nebraska for Amy's class reunion. Still running against some green peas. I cut a bin full, got a little livestock in the green thing. Doesn't look quite so bad up here. There's still quite a few some green green peas yet. So I was gonna cut another combine bin full, but I think I'll let it sit over the weekend. Some Monday is supposed to get hot. Tuesday is supposed to get hotter. Hopefully uh, it dries down a little bit more. I'll spread out the peas in the bottom of the cart so there's more surface area so that it'll uh, have a chance to dry out. Two loads of peas in the bin and I turned the fan on a couple days ago. Seems like there weren't enough peas in the bin to do that and the fan actually pushed peas into the air trough and we're not getting airflow through the peas. So we're gonna have to unload some, put them back in the bin and see if we can get that trough emptied out. Jump on the go or just want me to sit 
on here and wait for you to get to the end. Uh, wait. That sounds good. I got one truck full. I'm gonna take that up to the bins, dump it. Well, Warren keeps cutting away. Don't have much left on this field. Some of it's still green that we gotta leave, but should be able to get the rest of this field. And then we'll move the other field down here and probably start cutting on that. Well, good morning. We got back last night. Had a good time off the farm. Always a good time to get off the farm. But uh, sounds like they got that most of that field cut. Move the next one. It's a little too green, so we're gonna be moving combines in here this morning. So, but first, we go feed cows. Snack later. Get into the field. The 50 footer again. Man, this thing's huge. You ready for this? Well, Quinn's back today from uh, Honey Bee. We're gonna go do some cutting, get used to this header and see how it contours the ground. Got some rocky spots in the field to try it on and lots of rolling hills and... Pretty sure he's gonna test it. Test Put it, it to out. his limits. Yeah. Yeah. We'll Just see take, what... Take it easy on my baby. We'll see what this honeybee's made of. <laughs>
that is one big header. Grain cart duties is over. Got the grain cart so they can dump on it since they're cutting right here. And I'm gonna walk back to the semi and take the semi down to the bin and empty it and then bring the semi back up and then walk back to the grain cart. Do my grain cart duties. It's kind of one man show. A lot different from last year. Never left the semi. I'm just always in the semi. I find myself needing one of them uh, off-road segways. I uh, can just pack in the tractor and just, you know, ride it to the truck instead of walking. Is that considered laziness? I don't know. Definitely get my steps in for the day. I am out of shape. This little hill is kind of killing me, but it also could be because it's like 90 some degrees outside, pretty hot. Yeah, this little hill is killing me. Oh well, getting in shape, getting ready for hunting. Darn grasshoppers, eating the heads right off. Ah, gotta love grasshoppers, gotta love them. Not, look at all of them. Found my ride. Augers out. Coming in hot. Shutting her down for the night. Got the feeder house all blowing off. Time to take a nap. Be back in the morning. <laughs> 